So many people advise me not to render my own house extension when I have no experience, but guess what? I've done it. Welcome back to part 11 of the DIY house extension. In this part of the project, the stakes are high. Not only have I got to prove the naysay is wrong, I've got to live with whatever finish this ends up like. So wait till the end to see how this one turns out. For this project, I'm using Weber One Coat Monocruise Render. It's really simple to mix, just 5.5 litres of water in a bucket and then mix your render in stages. The application, however, was a completely different story. The idea was to add 10 mil of render to the wall and then use a trowel and a feather edge to get it nice and level. This did work but because of the limited access the render was going hard and it was getting more and more difficult to level although the surface didn't look pretty and smooth i made sure it was really level because i knew when i was doing the scratch coat i'd be scratching away all of those little lines anyway even by this point i didn't know if it was going to look very good in the end after another grueling shoulder workout and looking like a frosted cake it was time to stand back and look at what i'd done and it was safe to say i was over the moon with how it turned out 